What's up, Wayne Brown here with DarkFlex.net, and as you can see, we are looking at an error. I'm in the process of uh, doing some lessons on uh, .NET using Visual Studio, and this is one of the uh, errors that I just received. And this error is coming off from my other computer that is trying to access the SQL Server that's sitting on my laptop. And so this error is rather common and really easy to fix. And so how you fix this error is that we got to go into our start menu, type in firewall, and choose Windows Firewall with Advanced Securities. What we got to do is that we got to create inbound rules to allow our SQL Server to be accessed from other systems. And so uh, I don't mean access as in uh, browsing to a website. What I mean is being able to create a connection on another computer that accesses this system, sort of like uh, the way you would access your hosting provider's SQL Server. You would create your link to it on the outside to test and make sure everything's going right. But that's basically the same concept here. And so what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to create a new rule program click on next we're going to browse and you're going to browse into your program files my sql server i'm sorry microsoft sql server ms sql dot one ms sql bin so that is your address i've got mine sitting inside of my g drive it is not sitting inside of c it's inside of g drive so anyway and you want to grab a hold of the sql server dot exe file double click it click on next allow the connection click on next i strongly suggest that you uncheck this unless you want to allow people to access it from anywhere so i'm going to uncheck it and only allow domain and private click on next give it a name and then click on finish okay we got to create one more rule come over here and choose new rule choose port this time click on next UDP port type in 1434 click on next allow the connection click on next domain private uncheck public unless you want public to be allowed click on next this is SQL server browser click on finish and now you should be able to run your websites or run your SQL connection on the outside without having any issues. All right, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking weekend. Bye-bye.